My name is Ken Wynemko. In 1994, I was wrongfully arrested and convicted of 15 counts of criminal sex sexual conduct in the first degree rape, one count of armed robbery, and one count of breaking and entering. I was sentenced to 40 to 60 years in prison for this crime that I didn't commit. At the trial, the judge had exceeded the sentencing guidelines because he said that I failed to show remorse. And I told him, Your Honor, I feel terrible for what happened to this woman. It shouldn't happen to anyone. But I can't show remorse for something I didn't do or have any knowledge of. The prosecutor had introduced the infamous jailhouse snitch, which, which is a major problem in these wrongful convictions and shouldn't be allowed. And the man who testified, the snitch who testified, was given, the, the prosecutor told the jury that she was going to give this man the quote unquote, the deal of the century. That if he testified that I committed the rape, and this man was facing life in prison as a fourth habitual. The prosecutor told the jury that if he would testify that I told him I committed the rape, they would drop all the charges against him, let him walk away from a life sentence because they wanted the closest rape case will happen. And the judge allowed that to happen. In Michigan, we have a DNA statute that took effect on January the 1st of 2001. And the original statute was, believe it or not, was set to expire on January the 1st of 2006. They were given a five-year window for inmates to apply for DNA testing, and which to me made no sense. And I remember when that law was first passed, when that statute was first passed, and I read it for the first time, I read it in, in the law library at the Ryan Correctional Center in Detroit. When I read that statute, I thought to myself, man, this law was written just for me. This is exactly what I needed, what I was praying for. And then, you know, when I, when I became aware of the sunset date, I told myself, Kenny, if you get out, there's no way, there's no way I would lever, never, ever let that statute sunset. I'm happy to say on April 28th of 2005, Governor Granholm signed the extension in Lansing. I was in her office when she signed the bill. And she, as a matter of fact, she named the, the DNA statute in Michigan is, is known as the Ken Wynemko law. If these corrections aren't made in our system, it's going to happen to someone that you know. Trust me, it's going to happen. And I don't, want to, I don't want anyone to go through what I or my family had to go through because we went through hell and back. And nobody in this country should have to suffer like that. And I'll do my best to make sure that that's not going to happen to anyone else.